Textron Aviation's King Air family of aircraft is a veritable workhorse that continues to be in demand for all manner of applications. Preparing new pilots and expanding their experience is one critical role, and the US Navy has started taking delivery of new King Air models that they call the T-54A multi-engine trainer. These will replace its aging fleet of Beechcraft T-44 Pegasus aircraft, which is based on the older King Air 90. At the Naval Air Station in Corpus Christi, Texas, the aircraft will be used to train pilots for the Navy, as well as for the Marine Corps and the Coast Guard. At the recent Farber Air Show, AIN had a chance to find out how Textron has configured this King Air for an important mission. This aircraft specifically provides good situational training for military pilots that are going to go on to fly in uh, an aircraft that require asymmetric thrust. And that could be obviously other King Airs that are doing patrol or surveillance, but also aircraft like the Spartan or a C-130 or an A-400. In the majority of cases, militaries have been training in turboprops. Uh, they usually come out of a, uh, of a basic trainer like a T-6, and they go into a turboprop multi-engine training environment. Most of the training fleet in the world are old King Airs. We do have several countries flying other aircraft, but most of them now are going on 40 years old or more. And this is an opportunity to upgrade their technology and their operating cost. The flight deck is the focal point for much of the new technology that military pilots need to master if they're to be able to step up to fly more sophisticated aircraft. Avionics is obviously one of the big steps in the technology to go to glass panels, it's Perline Fusion cockpit, which gives them good interaction and interoperability with other fleets they have. But it keeps that training pedigree. As they come out of a high performance military trainer to get their wings, now they continue in the growth path toward the product they're gonna fly eventually. The cockpit configuration for our multi-engine trainer is actually set up with three crew seats. That allows us to have a pilot flying, pilot not flying, and an instructor in any one of the positions. All have access to things like radio control panels, but also have full situational awareness and visibility of the cockpit. Some of the features that we've incorporated in this aircraft that are unique, it has an angle of attack system. You can see the indicators on the glare shield and the angle of attack system is something that we've had in jets for many years, but we've never offered in a King Air. And for the airmanship of a multi-engine pilot, it was critical. And for the US Navy, it actually is critical as that's how they train carrier landings is all done by angle of attack. Something that's not quite as visible, but we do have cockpit cameras and actually we have a data acquisition system that's set up that's taking all the data that goes to the flight data recorder and making it available for maintenance tracking and also for crew debrief. Um, we have it set up with a system that actually will offboard it um, via sat phone if the customer wants. So any maintenance issues detected in flight will actually be known by the ground crew. So when the aircraft lands, they can turn it more quickly because they know what's happening. It also actually allows communication between the home training base and the crew on board the aircraft, not both data and voice. And it, it really, the big training feature that we see is the being able to sit down and do a mission briefing, actually plan your sortie before, go do your training flight, and when you come back, very easy for the instructor to actually run through with the student what happened and why it happened. And so the, the crew can sit down, go through their, their mission debrief, and they have not only all of the data that can be mapped, but also video if they, if they choose to use it to actually look at what did we do, why did we do it, how can we improve. Collins Proline Fusion Flight Deck, it's actually a very mature product that's been used by a lot of commercial aircraft and militaries. This actually gives you touch screen capability. So there, there are multiple ways to input data 
it actually makes it much easier as, as the students are transitioning and long term when they're in mission operation. Being able to either input data on the QWERTY keypad on the flight management system or you can actually touch screen and tune manually, do things like that. You can set waypoints. We have search patterns. We have other things like that that are already incorporated in the software of Fusion for our customers. We can do things like TAWS inhibit. There's a lot of software features that we've been able to include in the cockpit for the use, not just in the training mission, but um, in other missions you could do with the King Air 260 or 360. Textron has also included features that support safe training conditions and to help sustain the working lives of the King Airs too. Other things that we've done, uh, for example, the auto throttles, the standard in our King Air 260s and 360s are an auto throttle system. In training configuration or training sorties, you often don't want the auto throttles to be used, but it's easy for a student to get task saturated or be looking focused outside on other things, and they can potentially over torque or over temp an engine. So we've taken the auto throttle system and created a guard mode where the auto throttle will actually give haptic feedback and nudge the pilot's hand back if they are starting to over torque or over temp the engine. So that's a safety feature um, for the crew, but also lowers the maintenance cost over time of the, of the aircraft because they'll avoid having um, engine issues that way. The manufacturer can adapt the aircraft to take account of the specific needs of different military customers. For instance, the aircraft delivered to the US Navy are equipped with an aft lavatory, complete with a privacy wall, to accommodate the needs of both male and female pilots. And the aircraft shown at Farnborough is equipped with a cargo door, which will not be installed on the US Navy's T-54A, but it could be useful for other customers. The cargo door that you see on this aircraft has actually been key, especially for the air ambulance community. Also, of course, for cargo transportation in, in special forces and special ops. But the air ambulances have been critical now to be able to roll patients and the equipment in and out in a much more ergonomic and efficient manner. The Royal Canadian Air Force has also selected the King Air 260 for its training needs. And these aircraft will include features such as night vision goggles and anti-icing capability. Well, at AIN, we're always tracking stories like this about how different types of aircraft can be reconfigured for multiple roles in both civil and military life. And if you want more news like that, keep coming back to AINonline.com.